telling time on the fly, mastering the hour hand. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. We are going to have a lot of fun learning about how to read the hour hand on an analog clock. We'll break it down step by step to help you master this fundamental skill in English language learning. First, let's get to know our analog clock a little better. It's a circular object divided into 12 sections, each representing an hour. Each hour is then split into 60 minutes, but for now, we are just focusing on the hours. The shorter hand on the clock is the hour hand. This hand indicates the current hour of the day. Next, let's learn how to read the hour hand. The position of this shorter hand lets us know what hour it is. If the hour hand is pointing directly at a number, that's the hour it currently is. For example, if the hour hand points at 1, it means it's 1 o'clock. If it points at 5, it's 5 o'clock, and so on. Now, what if the hour hand is in between two numbers? It's simple, the hour is always the last number the hour hand has passed. For example, if the hour hand is between 3 and 4, it means it is still the third hour, or 3 o'clock. Remember, it's not the next hour until the hour hand has fully passed the next number. To master this, you need to practice. Look at various images of clocks and try to identify the hour. You could also draw random times on paper and practice reading the hour. Practicing consistently will make this become second nature in no time. And there you have it, folks. That's how we read the hour hand on an analog clock. Keep practicing and soon you'll be able to tell time in English with ease. We hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more English language learning content and until then, keep practicing. Happy learning!